You know, it, we're talking about the the Flashpoint movie and all of this stuff, and you know, we'll talk about Birds of Prey later and everything. And and most, you know, the the usual consensus of the chat is that's just ridiculous. You know, what is this this travesty? What is this um, abomination they're trying to serve us? But here's the thing. Now, some of you in the chat, I know, some of you are are sincere about that. But most of you, most of you are just fair weather friends here. Most of you, as soon as you see a trailer or as soon as you see the second trailer or as soon as all the cool kids on Twitter say something nice about it, you'll be like, actually, I think that's kind of interesting. I actually I actually want to go see that. The, the fandoms, fan, the, the, the moviegoers today, you guys don't give a shit about faithful adaptations of comic book material. You truly don't. You don't. If you do, and you're in there, and the, some people, some people do, but some most people are, I do, I do, I do. Do you support Aquaman? Did you go just like cream all over yourself because Joaquin Phoenix played the Joker? No. Do, do you love Witcher? Do you Are you excited about the Black Widow? Then you do not care about faithful adaptation of comic book content. All you want is a good, fun movie that entertains your brain cells. And maybe, you know, a lot of people, you know, because, oh, man, people act like I call their mother a whore when they hear me talk about the Joker movie. How dare you? Because that's their identity. (laughs) All the SJWs are against it. So they think, oh, it's cool. Now we get to support that and make them mad on Twitter. And this is but I'm in this camp and this is who I am. And this is who I identify with. And that that's what they care about. That's what that is important to people. People don't care about faithful adaptations of these characters or their stories uh you know and i'm not just talking about in comics because yes and enough stupid stuff has done been done in comics you can point to anything is say well that's that's the origin where they got that from man of steel sure but what what is what is the accepted mythos the accepted story in the public consciousness of these characters that's the the most visceral thing that should be portrayed and shown in these films and hollywood knows you don't care hollywood knows you can pitch a little fit all you want about the harley quinn birds of prey movie but all they've got to do is 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 lay down two or three trump cards and they'll get your ticket and they'll get your butt in the seat if nothing else so you can bitch on twitter let's uh you know they that's it that's so why should anybody pay attention to uh to the fans you know going off about this or that it's it's uh it's kind of frustrating to those of us who actually do have a have a principle you know and it's not only that i i'd say it's it in in some ways it's even worse it's fomo it's this fear of missing out mm. you know i hear all these people talking about it i need to know what that's about Good so point. i'm going to go down and fork out my money mm-hmm. and it's spurred on by this this social media engine that we live in because everyone's tweeting about it and oh look at all the pictures of 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 baby yoda i got to see that now mm-hmm. you know Yep, I got to be in the know. I got to be one yep. of them. Yep, exactly. So many people have commented on the on the Joker videos I'd make, in which I readily admit I'm sure it's probably a very well made film and quite you know good storytelling, whatever. But that's not the proper handling of the Joker. People lose their damn minds. And then some people though would say, "Well, I feel like I kind of have to see it because the SJWs are freaking out about it." Okay, well then that's what's important to you then. You don't care yeah. about faithful adaptations of three. You just care about pissing off the SJWs. That's your thing. So stop pretending that something else is your thing. Yeah, that you, you don't actually care. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, they're just people who who feel like, oh, it's okay. But, and then the other argument, no, oh, there's too many different versions. I mean, what does it matter? Well, um, it matters because those other versions only have relevance because you've done the original version. Uh, and And I would also point out, People who say, well, we had the original version, for example, Superman back in, in 78 or Batman back in 89. Uh, we need it. Every generation needs it to be done iconically before you can do any kind of deviation. That's you a good principle. I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Exactly. Give it back yeah, to the current generation. And if you're not going to do it, then you have no business doing this Joker film, which is shit. I, again, and I've had people go, the same people that were like, bright burn, man, you should just let it just, you know. Man, just let it sleep with you. It's so great. Have some sex with Brightburn. <laughs> awesome. I mean, that was kind of the analogies I was getting. I was like, good God, what happened to your integrity? Um, and here's the thing. That movie doesn't need to exist either because we haven't got an iconic Superman. I, I, it's not enough that they have to deconstruct and give us, you know, this, this crap and stuff. They have to go back and kill what we loved. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Look at crisis mm-hmm. and their system. And, and, and I bring it up because Melissa Harris brought it up. They're systematically showing us all the little member berries and then killing them. Yep. yep. Look, here's, here's, 
here's Clark from from Smallville. He and he gave up his powers, and they're gonna have a nice. Oh, we're not even gonna kill him because it's not worth it. But oh, the sky turned red, and his universe is gone. Yep. So shut hey, up. You'll never get it back. Bird, remember Birds of Prey? You know, I mean, we only got one season of that, and it wasn't really that good, but it had potential, and and you could always imagine they had stories after that, and now, well, they're all dead. You know. Yep. Exactly. So, you know, it, it's not enough to 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 start something new that's crappy. They've got to go out of their way to kill what we love too. This is why I was saying if they're around the new year, it's like what are your what are your resolutions? What do you want for fandom? And everybody's like, Well, I just really like finally a good movie. I don't know. I don't want any more movies of these beloved franchises because Hollywood is nothing like even remotely a capable uh thing that can that can bring them about it's it's not capable of putting these these uh characters in any kind of iconic way on the screen there's too many people working an agenda there's too many people uh knowing just what right bones to throw people to get the the you know weak fans on board for their agendas to come or the agendas that have already come or whatever uh so yeah no i just want uh i want superheroes and, and science fiction i would like that to to get off the the burner for a while in terms of the what's really popular when it comes to cinema and stuff like that i don't think it will because it's so viscerally linked to the you know the human psyche uh more than people even realize who are watching it but um but i just think that the longer it stays in the popular uh demand as long as it stays the center stage in the culture it's just going to continue to get deconstructed and riddled to the point where it's, there's no going back to it something else will have to rise up to take its place you know in general until it has time to heal let me share the screen here because so many people forget. And this is what drives me absolutely crazy about uh, fandom in general. Like I said, when the, the first announced they were doing the Joker movie, everybody everywhere is like, we don't need a Joker movie. Why do we don't need a Joker movie? What is this? All they need is one damn trailer. And everybody's like, oh, it actually looks pretty good. <laughs> and in Black Widow, here we go. Remember when the writer, everybody was freaking out about this. I'm not interested in the loud, sour grapes. She doesn't care if she makes fanboys mad. And let's see, things she said, um, I wasn't a huge superhero movie fan before starting to work at Marvel. But now that I'm doing it, there's just so much opportunity to make big positive statements, especially something like Captain Marvel and Black Widow. To have these female-centered stories, I just can't not be involved with that. This is her impetus. This is the thing that she wants to do to come preach to you, not to tell you a good story, not to entertain you. Oh, but the trailer with the, the explosions and the funny joke and I did the trailer actually looked pretty good. You have shut up, shut up. Stop talking. The world doesn't need any more things that are coming out of your mouth. It just drives me crazy. Sorry. All right. I'm done. I mean, that, that <laughs> opening <laughs> statement, that opening statement where I was never interested in comics, but it's a great opportunity to make a statement. That's like saying, taking a job in a bank and saying, you know, I never had any interest in mathematics or economy, but it's a great opportunity to play with money. Yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, the thing about the Black Widow trailer, you know, you could watch you could watch Black Widow trailer, and if you like, you know, Scar Jo, you go, yeah, she looks hot. And the other girl's kind of cute, and I'm thinking it's like Black Widow. It, 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 isn't this like about a character who just got killed in the biggest movie yep. of all time? Thank and why you. the hell are we worried? Why the hell are we doing this now yeah. when this movie should have been done five years exactly. ago? Exactly, too little, too late. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. This is interesting that this is what Marvel's been doing. Think about it. Endgame was this huge culmination. It's been far too long in between films. Not just maybe, you know, maybe you can look at certain time periods where they've done this kind of stretch before, but far too long before even any buzz about films. I mean, we hear uh, and everything we hear isn't that great, like the Doctor Strange director stepping away and all these problems. And the, and the best thing they can do is give us movies that take place before their last big culminating yeah. event, which really is a testament to how poorly that culminating event was executed. That's there's just no getting around that. And the other thing I'll say about black widow is that you watch those trailers, look at how she is portrayed and then remember her first appearance in the MCU in iron man two yeah. and in Avengers one, they made use of her femininity to the nth degree because that's what that character is. She's a heroine archetype who capitalizes on people's assumptions of her femininity in a good way, you know, and then she's able to, but she's incredibly feminine. I mean, she's the pinnacle of, of strength and femininity in her own way. 
they are going to sap every bit of that out of this movie because nope, gender construction, socially constructed, you know, blah, blah, blah. And look at the trailer. They've got her dolled up from neck to toe in leather at every given time. They're not going to do anything. Even remotely, she's, she's sad. There's no makeup. There's nothing like that. They're, they're going to make damn well sure that you change the way you think about Black Widow because it's no longer a character that plays to those social norms of femininity. So have fun with that. 